do with it be what it is YouTube. All right, today we're gonna figure out how to make some drifting weights. You know, we got all different types of drifting weights, but uh, we're gonna try to show you how to make a couple different types. You know, we'll, we'll show you how to make the solid lid, the snake weight with the Brady type stuff, you know, shrink wrapped, another type of shrink wrapped. This one's got a little float in it. So, I'll show you how to make these four types of um, drift weights for when you're drifting for catfishing. We got some hollow braid tubing. We got some red shrink wrap tubing. We got black shrink wrap tubing with glue in it. We got some big old BBs. We got little BBs. I mean, we got solid lead core. Let's show you how to make it. Without any further ado, let's get over here. All right, with this one right here, we're gonna use solid lead core. You know, it's pretty easy to manipulate. And we want about six and a half inches or so for about a four ounce solid drift weight here. This is one of the most simplest ones you can make here. So, I mean about that much. So, that much. Just cut it off. Alright. Here goes our weight, just to keep it protected from getting dings and all that. We got some shrink tubing here, 3 8 inch shrink tubing. The bottom right there with that little point right there, this little bottom right here, we're just going to shrink tube it around that. And then we're going to do that all the way up until just about a half inch here. So we'll do that real quick. shrink tube that now we got to smash this end so with then we can put a hole in it after we shrink it all down and then we got that little bit sticking out the end right there we want to smash that I covered these to try to get a you know as much as possible without getting all them grooves from the pliers in there. All right, we got some nice little grooves from the pliers. We got some grooves from the pliers in there. But it's not so bad. You can just take a nail and uh, hammer a hole through there, something like that. I'm going to just take this knife and I'm going to bore me a hole through. Alright, take this knife, bore us a nice little hole through here. And I should have some clips here on the table. Alright, got a little hole in there. Take our clip. Then get that bend of the clip in there. 
get our clip in there. Alright. Alright, we got our clip on there. It's all shrink tube for protection. But I'm also going to add a piece of shrink tube at the top. And a little piece at the bottom of black. When we put that shrink tube right up to the hole. And then I'm going to shrink that on there. Shrink tube that on there. Alright. Alright. We got the first. Uh, we got our first piece of shrink tube on there. Let's get ourselves a small piece for the end. Bring it right to the tip of the end, right there. And here's the finished product for this one. I put shrink tubing all around it, even though you could just use the rod and put that hole in there. But I put shrink tubing on there and everything so it doesn't get all banged up. And that way this piece right here, when it's riding across the bottom, but you can also bend this so it rides just how you want it across the bottom. You could also, when it's sitting on your fishing rod, you can uh, act like my fingers, your fishing rod, you know. You can bend it around your fishing rod so it's not swinging and dangling all over the place and messing things up and breaking things. So there goes one style. Solid lid drift weight. All right, here we got some braided tubing. First thing we're going to do is we're going to just melt this in and squish it closed. And then all nice and melty. And take our pliers, put the tape off. And we just want to smush that in closed. See? Nope. Oh. And we got this little extra edge here. Get it all nice and melty. And you just round that off. You know? Alright, so now this end is all melted. And we just got an empty hollow tube. And this kind of tubing, when you push it, it's like a Chinese finger trap. It gets bigger. You know? So what we're going to do is make this one into a 4 ounce snake weight I got this little thing I made with paper this little funnel if you got a funnel you know probably better but you know this fits right down inside of there and all these baggies are preset as four these are all six and these are fours I know how much of this I actually got in the camera. Let's get all our beads in here. Oh, oh, oh. Lost one. All right. And I got these all in here, so I'm just going to squeeze the bottom and then go like this. And it moves them down inside of the tube.
Let's get the rest of these in here. I'll show you how to close her up. All right, after you get all of them in there, you wanna make sure it gets in there nice and good. Shake it down. All right, nice and nice and good. All right, now we need the scissors, whatever happened to those. And we gotta trim this off. And this top piece right here, we're just gonna fold it once and half, like that. Then we're gonna melt that. Take our pliers, smush it down. Get this all nice and cleaned up. Got a little bit of some extra hairs on this side. Melt those down. Take our pliers. Smush it one more time. And all we're going to do here. Oh, if I can get one instead of every clip on the table. Do the clip. We're just gonna wedge it up through the braid. Like that. And we got a snake weight. These are pretty cool. I like this design. Simplistic, easy. Very snag free. All right, let's go to a shrink wrap type. All right, we got some tubing here. This is shrink tubing, which has glue inside of it. So whenever you seal it down on something, it glues and bonds. We got a bullet weight here. I smashed the end down so there's no hole. We're just gonna stick that into the end to where it's just sticking out just a little bit you know if my camera will ever focus you know we're gonna melt that on there All right, we heated this up with a lighter right here. Got that bullet weight stuck in there. Now what we wanna do is we wanna fill it with four ounces of beads. We got these big ones as four ounces, and then we got the little ones. We're gonna use the big ones for this one. Our same little tool here, you know. Oh, one bead. One bead wants to be the odd one out. There we go. All right. Now we're just gonna slowly do this until all our beads get down inside of there. Oh, I think we got one missing. All right, now our beads are in there, but they're loose. Oh, oh, I lost one, and it just went under the desk, so that was gone. So what you wanna do is you wanna spin this back and forth, and as you're spinning it, you wanna go like this, down the whole shaft, and eventually it will tighten this whole thing up, Alright, well we got it to go down that much further. 
Now we got this piece of foam right here. And I cut it about right here. I made this foam. Didn't I show you that apparently? I put a little hole in the top, shoved that swivel down inside there, and then I put a dab of super glue in there too, just to hold it to this. Now we gotta get this down inside this hole, all the way down to the bottom. Oh, apparently just a little bit. All right, we got to shove down inside the hole. Now we need to melt that end around the ball of that swivel. All I just gotta wait for that to dry. I don't know if y'all can see it. Just gotta wait for this to dry now. See how there's a little bit of glue that comes out of this tubing. So when that dries, that'll hold firm. And it's got a piece of foam about that big. So when it rides in the water column, it'll stay up in the air. The top half of this will stay afloat so it doesn't snag the the eye of it so that way only the middle of this is going to hit the debris and jump over it so there goes our four ounce and you know another thing we do with that gotta have a clip on it Alright, and this one's a finished product as well. And the bullet weight, I like putting one of those on the end. Because I think it'll it'll help it just drag across the bottom. Nice little even thin line. You know? I think that's nice. There goes another one. Next one we're gonna make is red tubing. Alright, now we got a piece of this red tube which is also a uh, you know shrink tubing we got our bullet weight I actually put a little bit of my daughter's sparkly glue up in the end just make sure no water's coming through that at all so we take that put our bullet weight on the end just like we did before melt our bullet weight onto it bullet weight melt it on all right so now what we need to do is we gotta get this tubing opened up this one's a lot harder to work with than the black because it comes in a big spool all right I gotta get this opened up Then we're going to try to get the four ounces worth of uh, these little beads in there. But this red tubing, it's smaller than the black, even though they're both supposed to be 3 8 inch tubing. All right. Got our beads in there. Now you gotta work them down inside of this tube that doesn't like to open up. And this red tubing, it's the hardest one out of all of them to deal with. 
I got 20 foot of the black, 100 foot of this red. I wish it was the opposite. My favorite is the braided though. That little snake weight, yep, I like that. All right, let me get these beads in here. I'll be back with you when I get them all in there and then I'll show you how to tighten them down. Now my BBs are right there at the top. Right there. But we need to work them down. Because these BBs will sit four thick and this will be square when I'm done. Get these moved down. Literally just going like this non-stop until it feels square. Because the BBs fit in four deep inside of this tubing. Alright. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's pretty square looking. See that square? That's what I'm looking for. All right, now after I do the square, I gotta come up here and figure out where our, our beads are. I right, just squeeze it down a little bit. Then we need to cut off just enough to get a swivel. Just enough to get a swivel. I might have to trim a little bit more off. Take this swivel. I'm gonna take a little bit more off. Just want that swivel peeking out. That's it. There you go, she's peeking out. Now what we're gonna do, is we're just gonna heat that up around that swivel. heat it up around that swivel now what I like to do is I put a piece of black in and put a piece of black on this one as well like we did on that one so got a piece of black right there we're gonna heat shrink this back down to this All right, well we got that end sheet shrinked. I'm gonna put one on this end. All right, got that in. All right, and there's the finished product. And that's a four ounce. What it do with it be what it is. I hope y'all like that video. Uh, I've never made these before until just recently. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, I went a little hog wild on making them. I mean, I've shrink wrapped, you know, double beads all the way down. You know, they're pretty nice. 
even the solid lead core, I added a float to the top. So that way when it's riding the bottom, the top stays up, you know. We've even made single beads, which I'm thinking about making some of these that are half this size for bass fishing as drop shot weights. I kind of like them. But that's pretty much just beads in there, shrink wrapped all the way to the beads. We got all different types here. My favorite, these look like snake weight types, you know. I think those would be pretty uh, snag free. Really like this model. I mean, we got the little itty bitties. These are a two and a half ounces. We got a three ouncer. All these I made but these four. These I bought online. Pretty much the same thing. Uh, shrink tubing, just beads. But uh, yeah, that's how I make them. I did a lot of research into these, bought a whole bunch of stuff online and had to figure out how to make my own because when I'm on that float tube, I ain't trying to be snagged up and trying to break off no 50 pound line. Uh, no, no, no. We'd be trying to uh, loosen that line up, paddle to shore and then break it off at the shore because I don't think we're going to be breaking off no line on that float tube. But y'all get it right, get it tight. I'll let y'all on the next one.